from my side, I had a very limited time and very limited abilities so not, uh, to interact with uh, a lot of projects on uh, Launchpad. So I decided to stick with something easy and that I think would help cadets starting out like I did without any technical knowledge at all, especially to uh, integrate this uh, usage of IPFS very, very early. So basically here you can see my project outline. Um, the project was proposed initially by Tim, thank you so much. And it has been mentioned multiple times during Launchpad. So the objective was first to integrate Launchpad materials with IPFS, so to allow cadets to learn by interaction as early as possible. So hopefully in the first week. And then second, to preserve materials and not be beholden to the whims of centralized platforms and single ownership that we all need here, obviously. Um, the second objective was to ensure accessibility of materials, even for non-technical cadets. And then I'm going to tell you how I, why I was planning to do that. So the key results were putting launchpad materials on IPFS, and second, creating a level zero guide on how to interact with IPFS. What I mean by level zero is that it's accessible for anybody, even without any knowledge well of Web3. Um, so we can move to the next slide. So um, actually achieving the key first key result, putting the launchpad materials in IPFS, how I did it is I took the launchpad materials, I reformatted them to make sure that all the links are working, everything, all the materials are accessible and readable and properly formatted. And I uploaded them as PDF files to IPFS. So they're pinned, they are uh, stored with multiple storage providers, so they're there permanently forever. Phase two was uh, is to um, do the same with video materials. I have not gotten to that yet because it's a little bit more bulky. It, it's a little bit more involved, but hopefully in the future we can do that. I unfortunately didn't have enough time to go through all the materials. Hopefully this is something I can either give to somebody else to carry on or uh, I could continue with that in the background. And then uh, basically the result of it all, uh, let me see if we can move to the next slide was to, uh, to have the level zero guide. So the level zero guide, if you click on the image, you can access the guide from there. Um, so it's hosted on my Notion because I found it's the, uh, the easiest one to disseminate and share the PDF versions of everything. So it has all those uh, sets for the uh, launchpad materials. And it also has the explanation of how to use the IPFS desktop, which I found is the easiest for somebody who doesn't know anything about IPFS. And what exactly we're doing there, uh, there's like simple quirky explanations of what SIDs are and that's uh, et cetera. And then uh, the second part is to how to um, upload uh, files to IPFS. Obviously they can use IPFS desktop, but they decided to bring that attention to Web3 storage, which in my opinion is the simplest way to do that, uh, to upload um, files and pin them and et cetera. So I have uh, had this simple explanation of that in there. So envisioning this to be part of launchpad material where people can go there and download things, especially before co-location week, because I found myself being without connection when I moved to Europe. <laughs> so it would have been helpful for me to download materials in advance, but I didn't do that, but here we go. And that's pretty much it.